Seven Hills Housing Director said they wanted to start with 16 people so they could get a feel of the program before running full steam. Seven Hills in Fayetteville is welcoming its first 16 people who will be living at the organization's new overnight shelter. The all-adult shelter will be free of charge and will ultimately accept a maximum of 64 guests. They're very excited. What we did last week was we printed out welcome letters and I let the day center staff give those out to the first 16 people. So it's a nice little letter, welcome to the shelter. This, you know, you're worthy of having a place to stay. You're worthy of having a brighter future. And we look forward to working with you. Officials say the project of renovating the building the guest will stay in took months to complete. Seven Hills got help from the University of Arkansas Army ROTC and from students. Officials say there's no timeline on how long someone can stay here, just as long as caseworkers notice an effort towards a better life. A well, normal day, uh, we'll have wake up, 6 a.m. We'll have coffee ready. Uh, we'll have like a continental style breakfast for, for folks to eat before they head out for their day. Um, we will lock the doors at 8 o'clock. Everyone will be out and we will reopen at 6 p.m. So when they come in at 6, they'll be able to put their stuff in storage, come in and get a shower if they want to. We'll have some dinner for them to eat. They'll be able to meet with the advocates that are here if they need to talk about things. The board president for Seven Hills says the program is a stepping stone for reaching a better life. The, the goal of this whole program, if you are homeless and you are spending every night in the woods and you're not getting a good night's sleep, there's no way you can wake up the next day and start building a life to a better future. You are in survival mode. And so by having a bed, by having a roof over your head, we are now giving our guests a really good foot forward to start meeting with case managers, to get their driver's license, to get their social security card, to go get a job, to have access to public transportation. Officials say this shelter was made possible through American Rescue Plan funds approved by the city. Reporting in Fayetteville, Abner Sosa, 4029 News.